I founded the ASA back in 2000, and it was based that uh, based on the fact that a lot of acres were going to be lost here at the sand dunes, and we thought it was going to be a short battle because all we had to prove was that a plant that got listed shouldn't have been listed because we counted millions of them, but the Fish and Wildlife didn't see it that way. American Sand Association, along with BLM, spent about a million dollars to prove that off-roaders are not hurting the plant. If anything, we spread the seed. So in the history of off-roading, I believe this is the first area that was closed and then to be reopened. The fact that we can actually remove stakes today, it's, it's exciting, it really is. I, I honestly didn't know if I would ever see this day. Like that's why this is really important to us because you know, if we have up to a million people out here um, in a season, the more riding area we have, the better it is for everyone and it's safer. It makes it safer because you don't have so many people trying to congregate in such a small area. I think this will help in, in, uh, in riders coming out, uh, hope to see greater numbers. I know that for the last couple of years we've seen a decline in, in visitors to the sand dunes, so I'm hoping that this will make it inviting for them and to say we need to get out there. For me, coming from the Midwest, really riding in the dunes is like almost the pinnacle of riding. And coming out here on Razors is a lot like taking snowmobiles out to the mountains where you've got wide open spaces, big climbs, really fun. You can carve bulls here. It's a lot of fun to ride in Glamis. And I've been around the world, man. I've been to Dubai. I've been pretty much five continents riding my dirt bike and there's no place better than Glamis. So to come out and, and being that I have a million kids, and I want them to have places to ride too. I, I've been coming here since, uh, since I was a kid. All the untouched sand that's uh, just been you know, unaccessible for the last, you know, 14, 15 years. And there's a lot of people waiting. <laughs> Believe me, all the people out here are ready to tear it up when we're done. And it kind of gets boring in one spot, so now that we can open our horizon up and do more and hit these places that are like basically legends, you know, it's it's going to be cool. It's like starting over. It, it's, like, it's like a whole new glamis, man. But the battle is not over. We need to get this plant delisted so we can get these acres back. Because it's not just specifically about uh, Imperial Sand Dunes and Glamis. This is for all off-roaders, so we've set precedents for other battles that, hey, we can be responsible, we can monitor, we can do what you need to do to reopen land. The fight is not over, so we can use any of the funding that you want to throw our way, we can absolutely use it. And that will go into our legal fund to keep fighting to make sure that this place doesn't get closed down.